So I'm installing Windows 8.11, also known as Windows 8.1 Update 1, on Black Beauty here. And as you can see, it looks like it's finally done. I need to install the drivers on it, but so far everything has been pretty much just like it was with Windows 8 and 8.1. As a matter of fact, actually, it was more like 8.0 than 8.1 because uh, 8.1, if I recall the last time I installed it, uh, while it was doing the setup of the programs and stuff like that, it would come up and say, here's how you operate Windows 8.1 and move your mouse up here and move it down here and this is how you do it and yada yada yada. That didn't happen on this one, so... Uh, it turned out Microsoft actually updated their Windows 8.1 uh, ISO image on TechNet to include the update and they put it out there on the 2nd of April so I went ahead and downloaded it here and did a fresh uh, reinstall on Black Beauty here so let's go ahead and get the drivers installed and we're gonna check this thing out a little bit more and see what Microsoft actually changed on Windows 8.1 so here we are at the desktop I got all the drivers installed here and I've already been kind of looking around on it just to see what I can see and at the desktop here the only thing that I see that's changed is the fact that they've added a icon down at the bottom there to go to the Microsoft Store why I really don't know uh, the start menu is the same as it's always been as 8.1 was you right click on it you get the same little menu right there makeshift start menu which has all the same stuff that 8.1 did so it's not a significant update as far as this part of it's concerned if we go to the actual start menu here you can see the tiles look just like they did with 8.1 and we'll go down here this is the only change that I saw um, this is sorted by name but as you can see they have them listed alphabetically here with the little A, B, C, D, E, F, G, blah, blah, blah. That's the only real change I see there. And of course you can still change by date, most used, and category. It's just kind of laid out slightly different, but other than that, it's really not any different than what was with 8.1. So. I was really thinking, from what I had heard anyway about 8.11, that there was going to be uh, easier, it was going to be easier for desktop users, traditional desktop users with keyboard and mouse, uh, to be able to navigate with 8.1. It was supposed to be, uh, you know, bring back the start menu kind of a thing. Traditional start menu I thought was what it was supposed to be, although tweaked a little bit, not quite the same that we've seen before, but. I don't really see anything different other than a couple little changes here and there. You know, there might be some more changes deep within the system in settings or something like that, but so far I'm not seeing anything that's really, you know, screaming at me saying, oh my god, this is so much better. This is, you know, such an improvement. But, oh well. I think that they, I guess Microsoft feels that this is perfect the way it is and they don't need to make any kind of changes to it. I would strongly disagree with that. I don't think this interface, the way Windows 8.1 is, suits either tablet or desktop 100%. I think the user experience on either platform could be vastly improved. Um, this bifurcated operating system, this set up this user experience it doesn't really know if it wants to be a tablet experience or a desktop experience just kinda I don't know but I can use it and it boots up about as fast as it did before now there's no change there and so it's just really kind of a minor repositioning of things so anyway that was just my impression of it so take care everyone